I'm playing something almost every week, and sometimes I want to talk about it and give you a vertical slice. So stick with me for some lightning reviews, this week on The Chopping Block. This week I've been playing This War of Mine. It's been a priority on my backlog for at least two years, and I figured with certain political happenings, in conjunction with the Supreme Court deciding on a president being more akin to a king, I might as well get some experience for the likely future for America. That's not gonna date the f*** out of this review, is it? Modern social commentary aside, I often seek out games that are meant to instill feelings other than joy or excitement. While fun is definitely a facet of many games, engagement can be found in many titles that are explicitly not fun. Being an interactive medium gives extraordinary potential to experience the full spectrum of human emotion. So, with that setup established, let me say that, while This War of Mine is definitely a game I keep coming back to, I have played very few games that make me feel depressed, anxious, or as miserable as this piece of software. This War of Mine wears its intentions on its sleeve from the word go. It's a resource and management game where you try to establish a safe house for a small number of people that you task with crafting, bartering, or scavenging what you need in order to survive as civilians caught in the crossfire of a military conflict. You can see why this was relevant when this game was released, and even more so now. For gameplay, This War of Mine is broken up into two phases, day and night. During daylight hours, you and your crew try to use whatever resources you've scrounged together in order to keep yourselves going. As one could expect for innocents caught in any modern conflict, combat zone, hunger is an ever-present force looming over your head, and you're considered doing well if you're always just one meal away from general homeostasis. Food isn't your only concern, though. At any given point, one of your party may become sick or injured, requiring further resources and time to ensure you can keep functioning. Your base has upgrades you can sink resources into for benefit down the line if you can assemble the materials necessary, and that's a big if. The game opens with what seems like a decent amount of items on your first day by cleaning up your shelter, but this is insidious misdirection, and unless a certain path is taken down the line, having any such amounts of useful items will be a rare, if not impossible, occurrence, but more on that in a moment. The second phase of this War of Mine is the array of nighttime scavenging missions. You're given a map and some background on the local areas that contain resources along with potential inhabitants and expectations for visitors. The first few in-game days are relatively peaceful, getting players familiar with the sneaking and gathering mechanics along with tool usage. However, resources are finite, and eventually you'll have to move on from the abandoned areas to the places that are very much trying to do the same exact thing you and your crew are attempting, which is just survive. The path I alluded to will very much come into play when other people are a universal factor in your scavenging. How much is your humanity worth to you? Will you suffer with your fellow man to exist, or will you become a demon to gain momentary comfort at the cost of the life of another? Will you barter and be guaranteed a certain degree of safety at the expense of fewer resources, or will you put yourself in danger for the potential benefit of a day of comfort or a guarantee of a necessary base upgrade, but put yourself in danger in the process? I find it a little irritating when the game is using binary switches to relay your crew's emotional status. This person has been hungry for three days. He is now sad. Bitch, I don't need you to tell me this. I've been controlling it and watching him. Those are my emotions right now. For additional nitpicks, I occasionally came across scenarios where I had visited a place, scouted it out, and was able to return the next night and load up before a single in-game hour had passed. An option to go back out during the same night if under a certain time threshold would seem reasonable to me, especially in an extreme survival scenario, but no. One gathering session per night. You will not deviate from these rails that we have laid out. I get the need to instill a sense of urgency and the need for efficiency, but this seems overly cruel. Then again, that is exactly what this war of mine seems to be going for. This war of mine is the exact polar opposite of a power fantasy. A reality check of weakness, if you will. You're not playing a game about surviving. It's a game about suffering. You're not gathering food to feed your crew you're slowly starving to death. In the grand scheme, if the powers that be need to smash into each other, anyone caught in their blast radius is not but an insect in their eyes. But even so, each one has a story, a life, a desire to exist and be content. It's equal parts easy and hard to recommend this war of mine. On the one hand, how many people want to play a game as gut-wrenchingly miserable that reminds us of several ongoing conflicts across the world? Then again, there are those that I would argue need to play this game. War is hell, and not just for those that fight it. As a quote from Ernest Hemingway states on one of the opening loading screens says, In modern war, there is nothing sweet nor fitting in your dying. You will die like a dog for no good reason. In fact, if you have a relative that has said a civil war is coming and they're ready to fight, that's the person who needs to play this more than anyone. Sorry if this one got a little heavy, but I can't stress enough how important games like this one are. If you do want to give this game a try, play it for an in-game day or two at a time. 
I'll see if I can find something a little bit more lighthearted for next week. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm tracking down a vintage PC tower for another sleeper build. Hey, thanks for sticking around all the way to the end. Remember that I give away Steam keys with my regular weekly uploads, and all you have to do to enter is leave a comment and have contact info on your YouTube profile. But as always, thanks for watching, and keep your head on your shoulders.